The judicial branch is made up of all the courts. And the highest one of all is the Supreme Court. The Constitution doesn't specify how many justices will preside on the Supreme Court of the United States. So a few times in history, that number has changed. And you know what? Congress decides the number. Congress decides the number. There were six justices when the court began, then for a three-year span. There were ten. That was from 1863 to 1866. And since 1869, we've had nine justices. One of these justices acts as the chief with eight associates underneath. The president decides who the chief will be and appoints other justices we may need. But not so fast now. The Senate must approve every justice that the president will choose. Cause for good behavior, a justice stays on until he or she retires or until they are gone. The highest court in all the land is a guide for every lower judge and lawyer. And when the Supreme Court makes a call, they have the final say on U.S. law. Judicial review started in 1803 in a case between Madison and Marbury. Chief Justice John Marshall said the court had to say unconstitutionality. From that day, if the Supreme Court says that a law or decision is unconstitutional, it needs a revision. That law goes away until the president and the Congress can't come up with something that is more like what our founding fathers meant. Word.